thank you all for coming to Vancouver, first of all, in, in such great numbers for this conference. It's in, very inspiring uh, for me in, uh, in the quest that I'm on in public office to see so much uptake, to see so much support and passion for green business and for uh, applying our best business thinking to the great challenges that we have uh, in the environment. Over the next few days, uh, there will be lots of discussion about the green economy, about sustainability, energy, infrastructure, uh, and the transition that we have underway into a low carbon future. Vancouver is a leader in all of these areas, and uh, our city government has been part of that for many administrations now, but our business community and our NGO community have both been critical in that leadership. Our green aspirations are uh, remarkably similar to uh, the buzz that we have generated with the 2010 Winter Games. So I want to connect those dots right now. Actually, I just want to talk about how great the Olympics are. <laughs> so, just a little bit longer. It's been, uh, I think it's been only about 60 hours since we finished the Paralympic Games up in Whistler, the closing ceremonies. But there's already been a major shift in how Vancouver sees itself, and I believe in how the world sees Vancouver. How many of you here watch the Olympics and Paralympics? Hands up. Yeah, or you can make lots of noise. Okay. And uh, how many of you have experienced them firsthand here in Vancouver? Yeah, some of you got to. So, by our standards, and and certainly by uh, all the all the metrics related to the Olympics, they were a huge success. And as a result of that success, the, the city is really brimming with <coughs> confidence and full of ambition going forward. We have succeeded at the massive challenge that we set out to take on uh, many years ago beyond our wildest dreams. And, uh, and that really instills in us a whole lot of uh, confidence for next steps on even bigger goals. Over the past year, I have had the great fortune to meet uh, mayors from big cities all over the world, from New York, London, Rio, Barcelona, Portland, Copenhagen, Bangkok, LA, Addis Ababa, uh, Toronto, Shanghai, just to name a few. Mayors who uh, know full well of the opportunity that's in front of us, uh, in front of our cities, and the economies within our cities. What really struck me with uh, these mayors to a person was that all of these uh, cities and their leadership represent enormous opportunities for change at an epic scale. Each of them will be the locus for billions of dollars of investment and the transformation to green infrastructure and the economy of the future. And their eyes are wide open to this opportunity. The growth potential of the green economy right now is what makes this super exciting and, and viable. <clears throat> and the reality is that the cities uh, are destined to be the major partners with green business in creating the change and the prosperity that we need. If we look at the opportunity uh, in, just in terms of sheer numbers in, in these last few years, financing for clean energy surpassed financing for fossil fuels in 2008 for the first time with $155 billion invested in that year, a, a, a changing of the guards, if you will. The UN estimates that globally uh, 2.3 million people are now employed in the renewable energy sector. One of the US federal stimulus bills, one of the bills alone last year invested $100 billion in clean energy and the vast majority of that is targeting cities. The global clean energy market is forecast to be about $350 billion by 2020. China alone investing uh, 440 to 660 billion dollars over the next 10 years. And, you know, these are staggering numbers, numbers that were unimaginable uh, not many years ago. Uh, cities are really at the center of this action and this investment. So the opportunity is as clear as it can be, and the scale of it is inspiring. The world is going green, and the cities. Uh, that are aggressively targeting business and investment in their green economy will be creating the viable and compelling future for all of humankind. This is very exciting and very profound work to be involved in and I believe that's a big part of why many of the mayors in big cities around the world are feeling the lift and feeling the energy to drive this in, in their uh, cities. As John uh, mentioned, last year we set a goal of being the world's greenest city by 2020 
And we are well underway to that goal. And that, that goal is a broad goal with 10 targets and clear metrics for how we get to 2020. We uh, like to think of it as a decathlon, where the world's cities will have to compete successfully in 10 different categories, from energy to transportation to waste to local food, clean air and water, and more, very importantly, to the green economy and the creation of green jobs. We have very uh, ambitious targets, but at the same time realistic, and targets uh, that we are now working with, uh, with a number of other cities to uh, promote uh, the, an approach that is global, a global challenge between cities to uh, take it to the next level. We have uh, had success specifically in terms of carbon emissions. We have the lowest carbon emissions per capita in North America. We're hot on the heels of a couple of the uh, Scandinavian cities who lead the, lead the world in that respect. We uh, have reduced our GHG levels back down to 1990 levels on target for our Kyoto commitment. This has happened at the same time that our population has increased by 27% and our uh, jobs have increased by 18%. So we have shattered that myth that you cannot grow uh, aggressively in terms of population or uh, economy uh, without your emissions increasing. We have done the opposite. We are uh, already a world leader in urban planning recognized as that. We now have the greenest building code in North America and earlier this year my council approved a new policy that requires all new buildings to be lead gold next year in the city of Vancouver. The Conference Board of Canada predicts that our economy will be the fastest growing of any city in Canada at the same time that uh, Corporate Nights, a, a journal here in uh, Canada, ranks us first as Canada's greenest city and it felt pretty good to be named uh, the greenest city in Canada this year considering that uh, just a year ago in their last survey, we were seventh. So we're rapidly moving up the ranks. Our goal in, to be the world's greenest city by 2020 is helping to create new business opportunities in emerging sectors, sectors that we're seeing growth in uh, despite the challenging economic times, but in clean energy, renewable energy generation, in electric vehicle infrastructure, green building, design and construction, energy efficiency and building retrofits, uh, the standards that we set for ourselves as a city are opening the door to new business opportunities for local and for international companies and for our local companies to do business overseas. Now, a generation ago, our, our greenest city goals uh, might have been seen, probably would have been seen as an obstacle to business. In 2010, they are a huge opportunity. If we look uh, specifically at the, the buildings and their efficiency in Vancouver, about 55% of our emissions, GHG emissions, come from our buildings. So to make serious progress on our carbon footprint and to prepare for the future, we have to transform the buildings that we live, work and play in. So last year we set a goal with our Greenest City plan of retrofitting 20% of all buildings in Vancouver within 10 years. You know, sounds manageable, 2% a year. If if you actually look at what that is on the ground, uh, it is a huge challenge and it is a massive business opportunity for the construction industry who will provide the labor to do those retrofits for education, research and development from our institutions uh, to private industry who are going to create the products and processes and best practices and for the innovative companies who will be part of the market for 21st century insulation for energy demand management, for building supplies, pipes, heaters, roofing, lighting, you name it. It all needs to change uh, and for companies in Vancouver that have already established themselves as leaders, uh, they have the, the, the jump on the competition right now and there are many more uh, to come as the opportunity expands. My job and our, certainly our job at City Hall is to jump in and help companies to embrace this opportunity. Not everyone's there yet, and uh, we want to make sure that, uh, that business, uh, business people across the city have a chance to plug in to this new growth. We have uh, some tools to work with in order to uh, support our businesses, connect them with the, the green business opportunities, help connect to capital, and uh, obviously to help tell their stories, which is uh, a big part of what we did in the Olympics. Vancouver is at the forefront of uh, the business opportunities that come with reducing carbon emissions. And that's why today uh, I'm very pleased to be announcing the debut of a new city program, which is the Corporate Climate Leaders Program. There are 
a lot of great green companies in Vancouver and at City Hall our goal is to help the companies succeed and take advantage of the climate leadership that exists in our city. The Corporate Climate Leaders Program is a partnership with EcoTrust and their Climate Smart Program to invest in businesses in Vancouver from small startups to large companies. And this is evaluating carbon emissions using the expert knowledge and resources that we have to develop a game plan to reduce their emissions or to find ways in which uh, the company can benefit from the low carbon economy. So it's really helping drill down and, and carve out the opportunity business by business. Today, uh, participants in the first wave of this program are meeting for the first time. And over the next year, we will work with them to save money and open up uh, opportunities to reduce their carbon emissions and to communicate their, commi their commitment on the issue to their customers, which is critical uh, for uptake. So I want to make it clear to everyone who currently does business here in Vancouver and those who are considering it that if you are a Vancouver-based business and you want to go green, you can be and want to be part of the booming new economy that is taking place here and abroad. Uh, that door is opening and joining our program at the city, uh, we will definitely help you on your way. If you're a company that's not from Vancouver, uh, move here, invest here, <laughs> grow your business here. Uh, the green economy is happening in Vancouver and we want you to be part of it. It's uh, back to the connection from uh, green to gold. Uh, for our city, um, we put many years into the planning and effort and dedication into hosting the Olympics and Paralympics and it was a great success for us. We want to take some of that same focus and channel it into making Vancouver the global hub for the green economy to truly make our city a green capital and we would love to have you all involved in some way, shape, or form. So I hope uh, you have a very productive time here at GLOBE this week. I uh, thank you for having me uh, here this morning to welcome you to our city and to uh, give you a sense for uh, our mission here and uh, obviously to welcome you to uh, take part in that in any way that you see fit. Thanks for your commitment to, uh, to doing business right and we look forward to uh, having you in our city. Enjoy your time here. Thank you very much.